Greg came along a little bit later and he, there were other kids of about the same age as him, so he would play with them quite a bit in, in the early days. And then when he sort of started to get old enough, we'd have backyard test matches. And uh, they were very competitive. They were always played with a cricket ball. And we used to have all this uh, protection around. Dad had a lot of fruit trees, so we had these uh, wire things that used to protect the fruit trees. And we used to have to pull blinds down to try and protect the windows, but we used to break a lot of them. And the, the test matches were extremely competitive. Uh, as I say, it was always played with a cricket ball. And I can never ever remember playing with a tennis ball. And if these, these things that we used to protect the trees and so on were the fieldsmen, we'd nominate the fieldsmen. And we used to have this old shed that uh, was the keeper in about three slips. And I can remember one stage, uh, I thought Greg edged one and it hit this old shed, caught it about second slip. So I said, righto, you're out. And the idea when you got out, you had to go over to the tank stand and fill in the scorebook. And then you'd, you know, you'd take off the batting gloves and everything as you walked out. Then you'd come back and you'd be a new batsman. And I remember saying to Greg, that was out. No, I didn't hit it. And then we get into this tremendous argument about whether it was out or it wasn't out. Anyhow, he wouldn't go out. Gene, mother, used to come out and say, well, he's younger, so let him have his way. He's still in. And then I would just follow with a stream of bounces, just trying to knock his block off because I thought he was out. He wouldn't go out. And there was never any thought that, gee, you know, I've got a cricket ball in my hand. I might kill my younger brother. It was just a matter of there's this little so-and-so down the other end who's got to be got out. So they were pretty competitive matches.